This video was made to demonstrate some new features of Smart Camera View 2.92. Other versions may have some differences. Batch Grab Viewport New Option Auto Hide Camera and Light Icons This option will make script hide all camera and light icons if it's not hidden when use Batch Grab Viewport function. Sticky Dialog New Option Full Sticky Mode If this option is disabled, all sub-windows will only be tied to the main interface of the script but not vice versa. This option will make script glue all the dialog together. Note that this feature can make moving the script window on the desktop very laggy. You should only use this feature when you have disabled the show window contents while dragging option in Windows. Data String New Option Rounding Resolution and Padding Suffix Rounding Resolution option will set the script how to round up the camera's resolution by default is known. Note that using this function can cause your aspect ratio to be lost. So make sure you know what you're doing. Padding suffix option will set the script how many numbers to add to the suffix number. By default, in the script and in 3ds Max, the camera suffix number will be 3 digits. With this option, you can customize to 1, 2 or 4 digits. However, 1 digit is not recommended, as it may affect how the camera list is sorted. Performance Settings New Option Disable Callbacks and Refresh by Button With Disable Callbacks, the performance of the script will be greatly improved if you are doing heavy tasks. Note that it will also disable the script's camera list auto-refresh, selection sync, and auto-save frame function. As mentioned, Disable Callbacks will prevent the script from automatically refreshing the camera list unless restarted. So Refresh by button will help you manually refresh camera list without restarting the script by right-clicking the Select All button in the script full mode interface. Note that it will replace the right-click function of this button. Add a built-in script installer. From now on you can reinstall, or remove the script with the built-in installer right in the script, exactly like you drag and drop the MZP file into the 3DS Max viewport. And many more fixes and improvements, learn more at d95design.com. Thanks for watching, see you next time.